Your domain is probably the most important thing about your website. It's your brand. It's how people are going to identify you. So when you're thinking of your domain name, go for something that is quick, easy to remember, isn't going to get confused with any other company or brand out there, isn't malicious or scandalous in any way. Just remember that domain is your brand. Now there's many places you can go to get your domain. I tend to use 123 Reg uh, in the UK. There are Many places, have a search on Google and you'll find somewhere reputable to use. But we're going to use 123 Reg just to show you how you can register a domain. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to call my domain, I'm going to call it Imran Websites. And I'm going to do a search for that. And it's going to tell me, is it available or is it already used? And lo and behold, imranwebsites.co.uk is available. Wonderful. So I have the option now of purchasing that. For the first year, it's £99. Add-on VAT of 20% is going to be £1.20. And then it's £11.99 plus VAT for every year after that. I have the option of buying bulk. You don't have to always do this. It's all down to how competitive and protective you are of your brand name or your domain. Or you could go for a complete different combination. If I was to go for imranwebsites.co.uk, I will just add that to my basket. Once I've added that to my basket, I then go to the basket. Now, this is where some um, companies where you buy a domain, they'll try and add things on for you. So they'll say, hey, look, do you want this website builder? No, I don't need that because eventually we're going to build within WordPress and we're going to use Elementor. So don't get feel like you've got to go along with what they're offering you, even if they say it's free. No, it might be free and then they're going to charge you later. OK, right. So I've removed that. And I'm not going to add on any email either from here because I'm not doing my hosting with 123 Reg. We're going to use a different company for that. Again, make your mind up with what you want to do, but I say don't purchase it here. So I'm going to go continue with purchase. And the cost has now jumped up to £15.58. That's because they're saying to me, well, don't just stop at one year, go for the whole two year package. Entirely up to you what you do. I advise a lot of my clients is just go for the one year. So there it is, 99 pence plus the VAT, which is going to take it to £1.20, OK, um, because I can renew in a year's time and it's going to be the same cost, give or take a few pence here or there. So decide on what you want to do. And if you're starting a website and you're not sure if it's going to work out for you, don't put all your eggs in one basket and start paying out lots of money. OK, cool. So it's £1.20 or £1.19. Make sure you're not paying for anything extra. Just go for the domain. So when you're on the checkout page, if you've already got a login, login and purchase. If not, create an account. You create your account, you pay for it, job done. But please remember, keep a record of the username and password because it's going to be important for later on.